What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here with another r slash attorney tom reddit react do not say i look tired i know i'm tired it is currently 1 51 a.m i just got done working i've been typing so much i literally cannot feel my wrist hence the arthritis wrist compression relief thing and the reason why i'm working so late is because i was out of the office all last week because i went to vid summit in los angeles where I met a whole bunch of famous YouTubers, including the one and only Legal Eagle. And at the end of this video, I'm going to address the controversy around Legal Eagle and I's meeting, as well as give my thoughts about what I think of Devin. So make sure you stick around for that. Let's get started. Leave hypotheticals in the subreddit, guys, and I'll give an answer. Usually it's a defense. If the guy was trying to buy was really petty, could there be a case here? Am I an ass? Hey man, you still have the MacBook Pro? Yeah. What's the lowest you'll take? I'll take 700. 200? Sure, why not? Okay, where do you want to meet? 101 Main, Burlington, about 10 minutes. Sounds good. I'm here. Cool. Come inside. Into the comedy club? Yeah. Then head up to the stage and tell your joke to somebody else. <laughs> oh, man. Is there a case? No. Sure, the guy lied and told him to go somewhere that he knew he wasn't going to be, but that's not really a tort. These two individuals had no contractual relationship. The guy didn't have to show up. No case in my opinion. Would there be any legal recourse years after everything was finalized? David Walsh eventually watching the documentary on PBS and realizing that Michael Scott Paper Company was broke when he bought them out and Jim knew the entire time. So first things first, I'm going to upset the keyboard warrior community. I'm not the biggest Office fan. No, God, please, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just not. I've seen it. I've seen it, casual watcher. I just don't understand the cult-like following that it has. Now, I am aware there is an arc in the office where Michael Scott starts his own paper company. The paper company is not doing well, but they eventually get bought out because they are perceived to be doing well. Now, Jim, as an employee, he might've even been the manager of the paper company at the time, has a fiduciary duty to the company to Dunder Mifflin, meaning if Jim purposely omitted information which caused harm to Dunder Mifflin in the acquisition of the Michael Scott paper company, then yeah, Jim could potentially be sued. Now, just because the Michael Scott paper company was broke doesn't necessarily mean that it was a fraudulent or bad transaction. Sometimes you just pay to get the people who you want to work in the company on board. So even though the Michael Scott paper company was broke, they might have just wanted Michael Scott because he was a valuable asset. The short answer is it depends, but potentially yes, but it depends. Seems legit. I mean, the sign was clearly posted. I work at pest control. The lady posted a sign on her fence warning dog bites checked the yard and the dog was inside while doing her yard i watched open the door and let her dog loose on me she claimed it was my fault because she had a sign up let me give you all a little secret signs don't mean shit. now this pest control guy was an invitee on the property meaning he was there to do a job he was allowed on the property by the premises owner, the dog owner. The dog owner has a duty to keep all invitees safe from known hazards. The dog is a known hazard. In fact, I would go as far to say the sign hurts the lady because she knows the dog bites. And if she knows the dog bites, she should not let the dog out of the house when there is an invitee somebody working on the house in the backyard. First drop kicking kids. Now we move to the next step. Waiter, kids under 12 are free to eat. Thanks, I'll have two kids. Waiter. No, dude. At least drop kicking kids is funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, 
You, I didn't mean it like that. Didn't mean it like that. You know what I mean. Cannibalism is too far. I know y'all are gonna clip that out of context. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I found Tom's German brother. Gänseblümchen. Does this count as talking to the cops? Dash cam shows student juggles to prove sobriety to police. Okay, that was impressive. Now, I would advise not doing any sort of field sobriety test, especially the ones conducted by the officers. They're basically designed so you fail them. Now, if you are an expert juggler and you are completely sober and the officer is going to let you do the test on your own terms, okay, just don't drop the bowling pins or whatever the hell you juggle i don't know how i feel about that i don't know how i feel about this it worked out and it was cool no harm no foul moving on lawsuit anyone I'm trying to go to sleep here soon, dude. Yes, 100% a lawsuit. She's burned. She literally got blowtorched to the face. Ah! Tom, we know how much you love angry breakups. When your girlfriend cheats on you, but you paid for the floor. Yeah, don't do that don't do that you probably can get sued successfully for the civil damages you incurred yes you paid for that floor <laughs> but it was a gift for your girlfriend while you were dating her now that is not a chattel it is literally an immovable object so the only way to take it out is by destroying it by destroying it you cause damage no just 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 if a girl is going to cheat on you, King, she is not worth your effort. The opposite of love is indifference. Just move on. Forget about her. Let her have the floor and find you someone who appreciates you, King. I can't count how many times he cheated death in those five seconds. Oh. Oh, he's okay. There's some gnarly <gasps> on Reddit. Let's watch that again. How did he even get to that position? I mean, he's just riding along. His arms caught. Boom. Goes under. He is lucky. I will say that it is actually fairly common. Not necessarily this happens, but when a large truck injures a pedestrian or maybe some of their cargo goes loose and it hurts the car behind them they often do not know and they just keep on driving there's no way that this truck driver knew that this was going on and if he did know then he's literally a psychopath but let's give him the benefit of the doubt crazy i'm so happy that that biker is okay the cyclist literally escaped death now it's time to address the elephant in the room. Legal Eagle and I's controversial picture. As you can see from this subreddit, somebody is claiming that they found the original picture of Legal Eagle and I. For context, this is the photo that I posted on my YouTube channel when I met Legal Eagle. And I just want to come clean. I apologize. I lied my picture was fake and while it is true that i am six foot one as described in the picture legal legal is six foot ten every bit of it but in all seriousness y'all i gotta meet Devin. i spent about 15 or 20 minutes with him he was very kind and generous with his time and information on top of that i gotta watch his presentation he is wicked smart and i had looked up to him and his channel for a long time 
and he might hate me because I totally used him as clickbait to get you to stay to the end of the video. So Devin, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me and uh, I'll try to not use you as clickbait, but but no guarantees. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. We're at like 442,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy, but it's nothing compared to Legal Eagle and we have to take him down, Devin. Okay, that's enough. But seriously, y'all, my goal is to make content worthy of your time. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye. He's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a YouTuber. Attorney Tom.